So this is my first video in my vlog series which will last probably the whole year, hopefully. And so I thought before I get into how my week was and what I did, I should probably explain how competitive dancing works. Because I don't really know myself, but I know enough to be dangerous. Okay, so competitive dancing is not like the normal dancing that I was trained in originally. There is the same levels, but that's about it. Because how it works is the first and foremost, ballroom and Latin dancing, they're split. They're not the same dance. So you could be on a different level to ballroom as you could to be to Latin. You could be golden ballroom, bronze in Latin, or champ in Latin and silver in ballroom. You compete at different levels. So that was the first, like, whoa, pff, mind blown. But the second thing is, on each level, you get a dance added. So let's start with ballroom. On ballroom. If you start with bronze, then you're going to have three dancers only. Same with Latin. If you go to one up level up, there's four dancers, one level up, five dancers. So the five levels, or six levels, I've almost, I keep forgetting there's six levels, is bronze, which everyone knows, silver, gold. Then you get novice, pre-champ, and champ. Those are the six levels you get. Now, on the, with those levels, you get, um, let's take ballroom. There's three dancers in ballroom. Tango. Quick step and waltz. When you get to silver, slow foxtrot gets added. When you get to gold, Viennese waltz get added. And then the, those five dancers stay on that level all the way up to champion and they never change. Latin, on the other hand, are the three, uh, when you start at bronze, three dancers you have are rumba, Cuban rumba, technically if you want to be official, cha cha, and jive. Those are the only three dancers you do in uh, bronze level. Going one level up, they add Samba to the mix. I don't mind, I like Samba, a lot of people don't. And then going one level up, Paso Doble is added. Which is all then good. And so in gold level, there's the five dancers. You go up a level to Novice, and Paso gets taken out. Because why? Them's the rules, no one knows why. Then you go up to Pre-Champ and Champ, and Paso's back in. So, yeah, it's complicated. But those are the levels. Okay. So, now that we've got the levels established, where am I starting at this? Well, I'm not registered with SADTA, so I don't have any levels. But my partner is. So I'm joining at her level. She's dragging me up to her level. So I'm starting with ballrooms on bronze. So I'm only doing quick step, tango, and waltz. But the Latins, I'm starting with silver level. So I'm doing rumba, cha-cha, jive, and samba. Okay. Uh, how do you move up a level? Well, I'll, I'll cover that next week because I don't really understand it yet. So next week's video I'll explain how you move up from bronze to silver and then to gold and all that. But for now, that's where we are. The biggest new thing I've learned is in the rumba how to breathe. Yeah, so uh, what I mean is not to do with lungs, it's to do with the hips. So when you breathe, it's on the counting because with normal rumba, you know, it's quick quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, yep, but with the Cuban number, you kind of start on the four and then progress to the one, so basically it goes four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Mm. So, what I learned is how you breathe in the rumba, and I've, you've, uh, and I've been told you can carry this over to the box rumba, so I've been doing that and it's been a lot of fun, so basically what you do, um, is on the, let's say, let's, let's take box rumba. On the slow, you, the slow you're going to count, actually you're going to go one, two. So instead of just quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, you're going to go quick, quick, one, two, quick, quick, one, two. But on the two, that's when you're actually going to move your weight over. So you're gonna, it's going to go, this fan is in the way, uh, let's move stuff out of the way. This is a very small room I'm working in. So when you're going to, when you do the quick, quick, that's a one, two, and then the three, four is the slow. Let's, 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 let's take it from there. So you're gonna go quick, quick, three, four. One, two, three, four. All one and good, yeah? So what you're gonna do? On the three, you're gonna place your weight. On the four, you're gonna move your weight over. So it's gonna go one, two, three, four. And then you move over. One, two, three, four. And just that like three, four, so it's kind of like breathing because what you're going to do is quick, quick, ah. You breathe out, relax, quick, quick, ah. Relax. 
And when you do that, you can do it in any rumba step. It just poof, mind blown. You can go quick, quick like an open butterfly. Quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. And you see what I'm doing there? That's what I learned. That was the biggest like mind blown. Poof. Even though I probably have been taught that before at the previous studio, I tend to forget things. So that's what I've learned. And that's the biggest one. Next week I'll have something else that I've learned. So, moving ahead by moving backwards, looking back at this past week, I've had two training sessions. Last week Thursday and today. Today is the first official one of the year, but last week we had a nice training session as well. And I've learned two full routines and two half routines. No, three full routines. Yes, three. We finished the third one today. Okay, so three routines I've learned. Starting, yeah, good luck with that. I'm still working on that. But the routines, the Cuban Rumba, Samba, and Quick Step. I've learned those three routines. I've learned half a waltz routine. I still have to do Cha Cha. I haven't even touched Jive yet. And we still have to do Tango. Yeah. But, so far, that is what we've done. Okay, that's all the news that I have so far. But as this is the first video, there's no news is to be expected. Now, the, when it comes to competitions, my first competition we definitely will be competing in, first week of May. But then we might be competing in a competition first Sunday of March, it's what the 4th of March. We'll have to see, depending on if we're ready or not. But in all likelihood, first weekend of May, either the Saturday or the Sunday, that's when we'll be competing. Okay, that's all for now. But thanks for watching, and I will see you, or you'll see me all next week. All five of you that are going to watch the video, that is.